Making thumbnails is hard, especially because there aren't any map downloads for nether games. So today, I'm going to take it upon myself to recreate the map Wilderness to make my life just a little bit easier. But I gotta do a few things first before I can start building. And one of those things is how I'm going to build an exact copy of Wilderness. Now one idea I had was to just stare at the map and see if I could memorize it. But as you probably could have guessed already, it didn't help me out that much. So what I ended up doing was recording a video of Wilderness getting every single angle that I could possibly need. Now even though I know how to build Wilderness, I still got another problem. I have to figure out how to record myself building it. So I downloaded the replay mod. Now I haven't used the replay mod before so I thought it'd be a good idea to log on to Bed Wars and just play a game so I can mess around with it and see how it works. It was honestly super easy to use and I'm pretty proud of what I was able to make with it so I'll put a link in the description of that bed worst game that I recorded with replay mod, it's really cool I think. But with all my problems now solved, it's time to get building. So I thought a good spot to start would be the front of the island since this is where most of the game takes place, but then I swiftly move on to the interior of the cave. Now this is where you first spawn in in the game, so I wanted to take my time and get everything right. As you can see, the floor did take quite a bit of time, and I did run into some difficulties building the generator. I couldn't get that lined up quite right, but I finally got it, so I started building the rest of the cave. Now again, I'm taking my time with this part of the island because it's the most visited area, and if I don't, it could spell a disaster for the exterior of the island. And speaking of the exterior, about to move there because the inside of the island is nearing completion and with just the cave done you can already see wilderness come into life. But that doesn't mean we're done yet, we still got a lot to do and up next we're working on the stairs. Now I thought recreating the stairs was going to be difficult due to the immense amount of slabs and stairs, but thanks to my reference video the construction of the stairs was quite easy and with them nearing completion it was time to get started on the top. And because the top of the base was so flat I flew through building it and I moved back to the front of the base to fill in any holes that I left behind, adding some leaves, and somehow forgetting this gigantic hole at the top. So forgetting that, we move on back, I begin work on the rear wall of the base, which is quite ugly, but it is part of the build that I have to do. Filling in the hole at the top, we continue this wall down with some stonework that will wrap around my right and will wrap around the entirety of the base. After coming full circle, I fill in this one last corner before moving on to the front of the base where I fill in that hole that I somehow missed earlier. And after that, I start work on the bottom spikes of the island. Now my reference video did help in the construction of these spikes, but it was still very difficult and time consuming. Now my plan for these spikes was to go around the base twice. The first lap would be framing these spikes out and the second lap would be filling in all the holes from the framing. I figured this would be a good way to do it accurately. Now after coming back to the first spike, I knew it was time to fill in all the gaps, but this is kind of where I deviated from the plan and I just built on my own. I don't think anyone would really notice that I did because the spikes already laid out in the same spots. Now as you've probably noticed, I forgot to turn off the weather, but I'm not going to let this rain on my parade, I'm just going to push through. Now just as I thought I was about done, I realized I didn't build the tree, but it wasn't too bad to build. I did build this freehand because I didn't get any good shots of the tree and I think it looks pretty similar. Now I did have to move the leaves down one block and I also had to add the flower pots to give it that nether games tree look but at least we're on the home stretch now all i have to do is texture the grass place down a bed and add some villagers and after two hours of work i think wilderness has been built Now when put side by side, it becomes hard to argue that these two are not one of the same. This entire video was definitely a challenge, but I enjoyed it beginning to end, and if you want to see me do this again, give me suggestions on what maps you want me to build in the future. I would love to turn this into a bit of a series where I try and recreate all of the Nether Games Bedboards maps. But this video is taking way too long, and I gotta get ready for a stream in a few hours, so this has been V-Dog, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Just to clarify, the stream was the day before this video came up.